Alright, in this lesson we want to look at the relationship between the scale factor of similar figures and the um, ratio of the areas of the similar figures. So see how, see how they relate. So um, first of all, similar figures, just to review, are the same shape, two figures that are the same shape. Uh, so like a square and a square. And they have proportional corresponding sides. So um, you know, the ratio of 6 to 2 is equivalent to the ratio of 6 to 2. And it's you know, maybe more obvious with a square. But um, So the scale factor of two similar figures is the ratio of the corresponding sides, of the sides that match up with each other. So let's look at it. Let's find out the scale factor of of these two um, squares. So uh, the scale, so the ratio of corresponding sides. So this side and this side correspond. They match up. So the ratio is then two to six, which we can reduce to uh, one third. So that's that's the scale factor when you go from the small to the large. We could have gone the other way. Ratio of six to two. In other words, the large square is three times as big as the small one, or the small square is one third the size of the large one. Okay. Um, now, so let's look at how the areas of these similar figures relate, and we'll do it with triangles too to see if there's a pattern here, which there is. I'm telling you right now, there's a pattern. That's why we're doing this lesson. Okay, so what is it? What, all right, how do you find the area of a square? Well, you square the side length, right? So two squared is four. Six squared is thirty-six. So let's look at the ratio of the areas now. What is the ratio of um, four to thirty-six? Four to thirty-six. Um, well, I can reduce that, right? to one ninth to one crazy thing. Right, divide thirty six by four I get nine. So interesting. Okay, so let's let's write our observations. When our scale factor is one third, the area, the ratio of the areas is is one to nine. Uh and then we go the other way, thirty six to four, right? the the ratio of the big one to the small one should be nine over one, also known as nine. So the scale factor is three, the ratio of the areas is nine. Um so that's very interesting, right? Uh let's look at the triangles. So the area of a triangle is one half base times height, correct? So I've got two triangles. Here's the base base and then height which is the um, shortest distance from a vertex to its opposite side, right? Okay, so one half base times height. Uh, first of all, first of all, what's the scale factor? So the ratio of corresponding sides. So let's do the scale factor from from the large one to the small one. So eighty. So that's the ratio of eighty to twenty. Eighty divided by twenty is four, right? Which we could call four to one. So scale factor is four to one. Uh, height two, you know, it's the ratio of one hundred to twenty-five can be reduced to four to one. Twenty-five is twenty-five times four is one hundred, right? Okay, so let's look at their areas. Um, so area is one half base times height. One half times eighty times one hundred. So one half times eighty is forty times one hundred is equal to four thousand um square units technically. Alright, so this one um one half base times height. Oops. I'm kinda getting tired of this orange. One half base is twenty. Height is twenty five. One half of twenty is ten. Times twenty five is two hundred fifty units squared. Um so what do we have? so let's look at the ratio let's, um of the area of the big triangle to the area of the small triangle. We've got four thousand to two hundred fifty units squared. We can re 
reduce that. So, um, um, what do we have here? So, could definitely pull a five out of both of the. Uh, pull a twenty-five out of the. Let's see. Um, what's four hundred divided by twenty-five? That is sixteen. Because four times twenty-five is one hundred. Times four is four hundred. Okay, so the ratio of the areas is is sixteen to one. So when the um, when the scale factor is four to one, the ratio of the side lengths or the corresponding sides is four to one, then the ratio of the areas is sixteen to one. All right, so that's a little experimental evidence, um, so that when I tell you the following, you'll you know erupt in, in applause and it'll just blow your mind. Um, the ratio, okay, so if the ratio of the side lengths of similar figures is A to B, like, you know, 4 to 1, then the, r the ratio of the areas is A squared to B squared. Um, so, my scale factor here was uh, 4 to 1. Um, my ratio of the area here was 16, which is 4 squared over 1, which, you know, so we could rewrite this as 4 squared over 1 squared, right? So the ratio of the side lengths here, ratio of the areas here. Um, ratio of the side lengths here, and then 9 is 3 squared, so I could rewrite this as 1 squared over 3 squared. Ratio of the areas there. Alright, now you know.